algae is great and I know that in excess it can be a problem but for me personally I think it's a great addition to an aquarium. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is uh, part of a mini series about blackwater aquariums and how to set them up. So today we're talking about plants within blackwater aquariums. Now, if you look at nature um, and you are looking at these types of rivers in the wild, you will notice that a lot of them, obviously full of leaf litter and uh, murky water. So there is a bit of an argument of, should I use plants in my blackwater setup? For me personally, I think it's a great idea. Um, not only do plants, especially green ones, give like a fantastic contrast to the browns and, um, and the tinted water that you get, but they also provide uh, many health benefits, such as removing excess waste in the water column, such as uh, nitrites and uh, ammonia, and even nitrate, they will absorb that. So it's a, it's a really good natural cleanser or filter for your aquarium. Typically for good growth, obviously you need a good light. And um, when we are replicating in these kind of environments um, in black water, you would tend to have a low lighting. Um, so a lot of plants may not do so well, especially like red plants and things like that. So I would personally tend to stick with the, the greens because they will probably grow better. And there is some fantastic ones to use. And one of my favorites is Java moss. It grows like crazy all the time anyway. And if you've got like uh, good lighting, I can't see why it wouldn't grow. I mean, it's a, a very self-sustaining kind of plant. Obviously a massive one is floating plants. Now there's a hundred million different ones in the hobby these days but some of the great ones that I like to use are salvinia I love the fact that when the, the roots go right down to the uh, the substrate it looks really cool gives it a nice natural environment nice place for fish or shrimp to graze on or hide um, within the water so it's a great one uh, there is duckweed um, I've done a video about that so if you want to check that out there's uh, there's a link in the uh, top corner there but uh, duckweed is a very quick growing plant so just be very mindful if you're going to add it and it spreads like crazy if you're not in control of it as well so just something to bear in mind other plants that are absolutely fantastic in my view are amazon sword especially if you can get a really large leaf one and it just it just will cover the whole aquarium and it just gives it a really nice natural feel um, it feels then that the uh, the you know the fish are swimming underneath a natural river which is really cool anubius is also another great one very low demand very low light demand as well so it's a, a great plan i think for me if you're going to add plants to your aquarium, keep them very minimalistic. You know, you could add some little pieces of grass into the, the substrate if you want and have bits and pieces of ground fruit. But the idea to create these kind of aquariums is not to have them completely covered in plants. It's more to have plants as a minimum because then they add a bit of character to the aquarium. And obviously in the wild, you probably wouldn't see hundreds of plants, especially in like the Amazon River around all the botanicals and, and the murky water. So it, it just gives it a nice little bit of a contrast and, and something to sort of keep your eye interested in the aquarium, keep it nice and bright and those neutral colors. But then also it contrasts really well with the browns. Ultimately, there is one other that is uh, a really great plant for the aquarium. Some might not agree to this, but it's algae. Algae is everywhere in nature and uh, obviously you get lots of it in your aquarium if it's not well maintained but you can't get more natural than algae and it's a great food source for certain shrimp and fish and fry. It also gives that proper natural kind of look to your aquarium which is what we're really going for. It'll grow all over the woods and uh, yeah it just gives it a really nice natural feel. Algae is great and I know that in excess it can be a problem but for me personally I think it's a great addition to an aquarium and if you haven't tried to utilize algae as opposed to being scared from it, then you need to have a look at a video I did previously on that topic. One thing to bear in mind with using plants is some would argue that if you're using, say, a sanded substrate, which you probably would be if you are creating a black water aquarium, you'd have like a sand or a clay substrate. Plants might not uptake nutrients very well in them. So that's why people tend to say like plants are often not used in black water aquariums, but you can do it. And obviously there is ones that don't grow in the substrate as well, like Java moss, Java of a fern and uh, Amazon sword, Nubius, there's there's loads of them. So you can try and use them by attaching them to the wood or something like that. That's all I've got to talk about today. It's a nice and short one, but I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and let me know what you think of the video in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the comments below as well for my Patreon and my merch store. If you want to follow along, social media links in there as well. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos I do, including the ones in this Blackwater mini series. Until next time, you stay safe.